Good morning. We are with uh, Mahmoud Akishin <laughs> from Alexandria University, and we have some questions from Unimed students. So, which key role the universities are playing uh, in the democratic development of the Mediterranean region? Well, uh, actually, uh, as you all know now, uh, recently you have been uh, through lots of changes with the revolution and the changes in the concept and, uh, of course, universities uh, in Egypt, like uh, elsewhere, should play a very important role in that because we represent the students and the young uh, population and uh, the changes that are going on, which has been evolved and initiated mainly by our youth and young and uh, young students and young graduates played an important role in this change. and. Um, uh, this made us more open to have an open dialogue with our students uh, in all aspects, not only uh, in scientific knowledge, but also in the uh, political aspect and the change to democracy properly. Uh, these things were being, uh, we had constraint to the students before that in the old regime in, the, in, in, in discussing these issues. Now it's open, it's liberal. Uh, we really had uh, very good uh, ideas from the young and the students and uh, openness with them and uh, we should not underestimate the students and I think uh, universities has to play a very important role in establishing the proper democracy and uh, uh, teaching the students and discussing with the students about their way and thoughts about how things are going to evolve. Uh, it's not like the old days. Um, it's a two-way street, as we say, uh, in the dialogue between students and the, um, uh, and the uh, university and the institution itself now. And this experience that we are bearing through now, we have to transfer it and uh, convey it to other universities in the region uh, to, so that they can make advantage of what happened and also we can gain from them their experience for the ending into proper evolution of the universities because universities I believe it's not only teaching it's building the, uh, the behavior and the culture of people and the young people who are going to carry the responsibility later on. How do you, University of Alexandria, are supporting students in this chain? Well, actually now uh, we started to have our students' union elections now very freely. Nobody, no, everybody who wants to uh, uh, participate in the election, they can do that. No constraints like before, as I said. Uh, we uh, encourage, we started to encourage now student mobility so that our students can go abroad and they expand their knowledge. Uh, we have some joint uh, and, uh, understanding between different two universities in the north and in the south as well, which includes student mobility and exchange of students so that our students are exposed to different cultures and we carry our culture to different students, uh, for foreign students and foreign universities as well. Uh, we just have signed a memorandum of understanding with a university in Kenya, which is in the East Africa, and uh, we, which will include student and staff mobilization between the two countries so that they can benefit from uh, our experience uh, and we can benefit from their uh, and so, uh, experience as well. We also, our work with the uh, UNIMED here and the Medi University of the Mediterranean uh, also have uh, a help uh, in exchanging ideas and ex exposing our students to different cultures, as I said. We also have different uh, degrees, joint degrees with uh, uh, universities in the United States uh, in uh, different, uh, we actually have about 84 agreements with different universities all over the world. Uh, lots of them in, uh, in Europe, United States, we have even in Asia. Uh, actually, in the Faculty of Medicine in, uh, in Alexandria, we get a special program for studying medicine for the Malaysian students. It's been now, this program has been now for five years. Now, having st Malaysian students here and uh, this, uh, mingling with our students uh, will help to exchange ideas and know what's going on around in the world. But uh, this uh, change program that you, you told me about the 84 
agreements. It's uh, um, about um, it's um, made before the revolution, the change, or or well, now? Because actually, uh, we started it very recently before the revolution, but now it's still going on. But the concept will change. You see, instead of going just to go and have knowledge and science, no, we can the the the, the dialogue and the conversation will be different. Now there is liberty in just expressing yourself. Uh, in any aspect, political, uh, social, economic, whatever. Uh, although these uh, uh, understandings or exchange has been before that, but was limited only to just focusing on science and research and so on. Now it's the, 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 the media is open, you can discuss whatever you like. So the, the benefits will be greater from these exchange programs and so on. And this would be the very good advantage of uh, the change that's going on. Yeah. In your opinion, which are the most important challenges of uh, an Erasmus program for the Mediterranean region? Well, this is a very ambitious program. Uh, I think the problem is um, what we call the problem of brain draining. You see, you know, in the South, people who are very good and need to go abroad, they can go abroad and then finally we just want to keep in the north so they don't benefit their countries and the universities from coming back so uh, brain draining is a, is a yeah it's a, we have to fight against it and instead of saying brain draining it's brain circulation where you go abroad you 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 being taught there and, knowledge and come back give knowledge and, yeah. and carry the knowledge back so it's circulating the knowledge elsewhere so this is very important another important thing is sometimes in these projects, the problem of having visas and the constraints, especially for the young students. But I think uh, uh, universities has to have their impact in that and discussing with the uh, responsible people in the responsible countries to try to uh, solve this problem so that this will help the, uh, the, the mobilization system. And, um, the important thing is not only just to do mobilization for the sake of mobilization, by the end of the project and when the people come back, whatever students or faculty staff, they have to give us a report, we have to analyze what are the benefits from these projects. Are they benefit so that we proceed more or they are not beneficial or it has to be re-evaluated and change the concept. So analysis of any project is very important at the end of the day so that you can see either you go on proceed or change trans exchange your idea about these projects proper evaluation is very important in these projects how do you want to to support uh, university students petition for erasmus uh, program in mediterranean region our petition well actually we are in alexander university we, we are uh, participating in two projects in the erasmus mondus with different universities and uh, we really support that. As I said, I, I am personally a strong believer of the importance of mobility and exposure to all the students. So uh, we are going to do all our best to support these uh, projects as well.